Speedtree 9.3 has an exciting new feature called the decal node. With this node, you'll be able to cover your tree with vines, graffiti, or some moss atlases to give that extra realism to your tree trunk. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm gonna just show you how you can use the decal node in Speedtree 9.3. So let's dive in. So as you can see, we're in Speedtree. I've went ahead and created a trunk, uh, added a texture to it, and you can do so much to hide the repetition. So this is where the new decal nine node comes in handy. Uh, what we'll need to do is select our trunk, right click, add geo, go down to decorations, and select the new decal node. As you can see, it creates a little box for us there, but that's not what we want. So we'll need to assign a material to that. In order for this to work, you need to go to the plus minus icon here at the top. Select that, create a new material. In this case, let's rename this to Moss. And accept. And select that. All right, let's go to the the color tab over here, select that. And as you can see, we have the moss selected. In this case, I'm using a mega scans at this I've downloaded. So you can do as you wish. Let's select that. Uh, yes, load the other maps automatically. This will load the opacity, normal, etc., and height map. All right. So if we apply this to that cube, you'll only see that the cube has the moss atlas scattered around it, and that's not what we want. So in order for this to work, you need to create a mesh so it wraps around the tree trunk. In this case, I went to my favorite DC application that I use is 3ds Max. You can use any application that you want. I'm using 3ds Max. And as you can see, I've created three LOD levels. All right, high, medium, and low. To clarify this to let Speedtree load them automatically, you need to rename them at the end with LOD0, LOD1, and LOD2. This way, Speedtree will recognize that and load it into the appropriate slots. All right. So once you've done with this, you can export these out to your uh, folder where you saved your project in, and then we'll head over to the, the mesh tab icon right and in the new D at the mesh top there you will select the plus and minus icon let's add a new mesh rename this to moss decal to something like this all right then you would select your folder where you've saved these in my case i've saved them in my folder on the desktop load the lod01 it will automatically load the medium and low for you so just give it some time. A few moments later. There we go. Say yes. So as you can see, we have our different LOD levels there. All right. Let's head on over back to the material tab, into the cutouts and mesh. And then we just find our model over there. And as you can see, it wrapped around the tree trunk now. And you can further play with the brightness of the model the saturation as well the contrast saturation stuff like that all right once that's done you can increase the scatter amount you can put it to 50 or what anything that you like all right but as you can see it's going into the mesh and this is due to the the amount of displacement you have all right so just get a nice value you want there and as you can see, it looks too uniform at the moment. So we need to vary the size. To do that, you need to go into the mesh scale and in the parent, the plus minus icon, let's give the variance setting a few variants. So some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller and so on. And now we need to rotate them randomly as well. So let's give them some rotation, but everything is rotating at the same time. So give it a rotation value, go into the plus minus icon and give it a variance there as well. So some of them rotate in a different way. And okay, once this is done, let's give it some more displacement and then offset them a bit into the trunk. So some of the trunk is showing through and some is not. So you can increase the amount in the generation tab 
in the absolute number to more something like this as you can see it's covering the whole tree with some moss well that's i think in my opinion too much so let's take that down a bit go to the mesh tab and take down the scale and this also works on the the branches as well and parent branches so if you highlight those that i went ahead and created you can see that it works perfectly even on the roots so yes this was a short quick tip tutorial about the new decal node so if you like what you see here please hit that like and subscribe button down below and keep you posted on anything new that's coming out stay safe and take care and stay creative bye bye